What's up guys, gonna be a little different style of video today. I'm not gonna be doing the usual salmon fishing routine. I'm actually here at the river that's right by campus. I've been totally neglecting this river. I've got this huge river with tons of potential and I really haven't been fishing it that much. So I'm just gonna be doing some multi-species fishing, take whatever I can get out here. I actually was here yesterday and I caught a really interesting fish. Those of you who follow me on Snapchat got to see that fish. If you wanna see the fish that I catch off camera, just follow me on Snapchat. Anyways, I've got some things that I wanna talk about in this video, but I'm gonna try and catch some fish first. I'm gonna go ahead and get to fishing. Starting off with the spinner, guys. This river is basically borderline flooded right now. It's super high. It's not even usually up this high, but when I'm fishing big rivers, I actually like that because it pushes the fish right along the banks. I'm just gonna work this bank here with the spinner. What the? That is a fish. Dang, I hope he didn't feel the hooks. I don't know what that was. It's a decent fish. That's a fish. That's literally a fish. There we go. Decent fish. It's another trout. What the heck? Nowhere near the net. It's a nice trout. I don't want to hurt this fish, so I'm going to walk it up to my net. Hopefully it stays pinned, but you guys see it's a nice trout. Awesome rainbow here. Got to keep them wet though. Yes, that is so awesome. All right guys, here's the first fish on the spinner. Check it out, it's a nice rainbow. It looks a lot like a steelhead, but it's definitely not. There's a big dam downstream, just a rainbow. I'll explain how I think this fish got here in a minute because this is definitely not a trout stream. Most people wouldn't expect to find trout here, but there's a nice trout. Awesome rainbow. All right, guys, I'm genuinely surprised by that fish. That is the second trout that I've caught in this exact spot. This is just not a trout stream. You don't expect to find trout here. You expect to find smallmouth and walleye. So I'm very surprised. And the reason I think that these trout are here is because way upstream, there's a hatchery where they have these ponds that they stock the trout in for people to catch. Trout about that size. And we got a lot of rain. That's why the river is so high. And I think the rain kind of washed all these trout down here. It's the only explanation I can think of, but I'll definitely take it. They're tons of fun to catch. They're really good size, so hopefully I can catch them more or maybe catch them different species. It's a nice one. Another trout. It's crazy. Another one, guys. Look at this. Another nice rainbow. These have got to be stalkers. They just, they just don't look like wild rainbows here in Michigan, you know? I mean, it's got nice colors on it, but... They gotta be stalkers, I don't know. Another really pretty fish, crazy fighters, but I am fighting them on a bait caster, so I don't know. Really weird situation, definitely a stalker. Oh, fish. Is this gonna be another trout? It is. I can't believe this, guys, this is ridiculous. All right, guys, third trout. This one's definitely the prettiest. This one looks kind of, it's got some nice spots, some nice color. Third trout in a warm water stream. That is a super pretty fish. If I was looking for dinner, these would be like perfect eaters. All right guys, three trout here. I'm shook. No idea what's going on. Definitely don't belong here, but it's sure fun catching them. I'm gonna switch it up a little bit because Reel them in on a medium heavy bait caster, that's pretty stupid, so probably throw the spinning rod. I might try the fly rod. The water's really muddy, so I don't think it's a good idea, but I just want to change it up. I might tie on a fly or something just to see if I can catch them a different way. All right, spinning rod's rigged up, and I got the spinner here. The spinner actually has a little bit of plot to it. In the last video, I caught a fish on a fly that my friend's mom gave me in a little gift package. This spinner came in that package too, so we'll just kind of keep that trend going and see if we can catch one on the spinner. Got one. I'm in the side channel. Oh, I spit it. Dang it. There's one. Same old spinner. 
This one feels bigger. Not really. Maybe a little bit. Another trout. Unreal. Unreal. I'm just gonna grab this one. Just another nice rainbow. These are solid like 14 inch fish, 14, 15 inch fish. They're pretty, they're healthy, but I just don't understand how there's so many of them. This was just in the little side channel here. Thought this little slower area looked nice and sure enough, that's two bites and one fish. This current seam right here, guys, this could be absolute slayage. I'm worried for these fish, to be honest. There's one on the spinner. Another trout. At least this one's on a different spinner. Yeah, another nice rainbow. Oh, she goes. This current seam. There's got to be lots in here, to be honest. I'm going to try the fly rod for a bit. I just noticed something interesting down here in the mud. I think this is a vape. I don't know much about this kind of thing. How does this work? How do we vape? Oh my gosh, it's turning on. Sick, guys. I'm going to keep this. All right, guys, I think that makes five trout now, and I got a brand new vape. So you know what that means. Time to fly fish. Let's see if we can get one out of here. It's super high and muddy, but I think a fly could still work. I'm gonna throw this little white minnow fly with some weight to get it down there. I think it should do the trick. Oh my gosh, right at my feet. No way. On a fly, yes. That's so cool. This is crazy. This is just unbelievable to me. Check it out guys, number six. Basically six identical fish, but this one's special because it came on the streamer fly. That was pretty awesome, smacked it right at my feet. Very strange situation right now. I think before the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys where I think these fish are coming from. Oh, awkward release. Oh, shoot. all good. First cast with the spinner, I'm calling it. Ow, it should really work. Oh my God, this is just unreal, guys. This is literally just bizarre. That was it, first cast in. Another rainbow, same exact size. All right, guys, at this point, this is just the definition of stupid easy. I'm just finding any place there's slack water, throwing in anything flashy, and catching a nice rainbow trout almost every cast. So I think just to keep things interesting, I'm gonna take one of these fish and eat it. These are obviously stocked fish anyway, so don't feel too bad about it. It's gonna be a nice dinner. Not sure how I'm gonna cook it. I'll probably just go to the grocery store and grab some stuff, bring you guys with me, take some video. Should be interesting. Anyways, I'm gonna tie a streamer on again, see if I can get some more fly rod action before I'm done. What the heck? How am I missing so many bites? There we go. Another trout. This one for the streamer fly. We're gonna beach this one because we're gonna keep it. Sorry, man. Another awesome rainbow on the fly, guys. It's just getting ridiculous at this point. There's so many of them. Just anywhere with the slack water. Oh, oh, oh. It's stocker rainbow for dinner tonight. I'm gonna see if I can catch a couple more in this area, then I'm gonna do some exploring, try to find a place to make a fire, get some stuff to cook that fish with. All right guys, so that last fish just didn't happen. I couldn't believe it. I caught so many fish and then that last one couldn't make it happen. But anyways, gotta deal with that fish now. Gonna try and find a place to cook it, gonna go buy some stuff to cook it with. So stay tuned. Gonna need that. And yes, I tie flies on the microwave. And yes, all the fish are still alive and doing great. All right, grab the butter from my room. Now it's time for a quick Meyer run.
All right, guys, Meyer's run ended up being stupid expensive for just one fish, but it's gonna taste good. Now I just gotta find some place to cook this thing. I refuse to cook a fish on campus. That is just not a good way to make friends. So I'm gonna try and find a place to make a fire somewhere. I'll get back to you guys when I do. So I'm on the way to find a fire pit, but this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is an abandoned fish hatchery. This is where I think these fish are coming from. First of all, there's all these like crazy raceways and stuff. It's abandoned, obviously there's no fish in here, but if you go up here, there's these trout ponds and that's where I think all these fish came from. Check it out. So these ponds here, I don't know if you can see, but I can see are absolutely loaded with big rainbows. These ones are like bigger than the ones I was catching though. So that makes me question. These are like huge ones. Anyways, I hope you can see just loaded with big trout. And you can kind of see the river back there. That's the river that I was fishing. This is about a couple minutes upstream. That's it. Definitely think that all the rain might have washed some of these fish from the lower ponds out into the river or something like that. That's the only thing that I can think of that would cause all these trout to be in a stream that's not even really a trout stream. Anyway, super cool place. You can actually pay to fish in there, which I'd be interested to do, but it's not open right now. So maybe sometime there's some pretty nice trout, but it's getting pretty dark and really need to get a fire going here. And I still have no clue where I'm going to do it. So hopefully we find some place. All right, I'm depending on this place to have a fire pit. It's actually desperate at this point. Oh boy. We got a nice road. Guys, this is sick. There could totally be fish out there. This might be like a dream come true, guys. Check this out. How's that for a fire pit? That is insane. That is so sick. I cannot wait to get cooking on that thing. That's like unreal. There's no one here. Are you kidding me? This is like the sickest fire pit I've ever seen. There's literally no one here. I've never been here before. I just drive around and look for spots like this. Honestly, anything that's state land, you just never know. There's so many awesome resources here. I'm gonna get a fire going. It's getting late. Really need to get a nice fire to cook this fish up. Fishing to be done out here? Yeah. Really? What the heck's red blinking? Oh, that's the camera. Oh. Right, beautiful place to cook something up. Got our trout here, ready to go. Perfect eating size trout. It's gonna be good. Gonna put him there for now. All right, guys, we're gonna make sure this fish has some really good flavor. Start with the inside, put some cloves of garlic in there. Should spread flavor throughout the whole fish. Gonna cut some asparagus tips and throw those in there too. Then some chunks of butter. I'm gonna add some cheese to the mix. I don't think it's gonna matter much because I know it's not really gonna stay in there. Mostly it's gonna matter on the outside. That fish is absolutely thick. Look at that. Then on the outside, I'm just gonna make sure this thing's covered with Parmesan. Hopefully some of it will stick to the outside of the fish. I'm not sure if it's going to or not. Just an experiment here, basically. You guys are probably laughing at me right now, but I think this thing is gonna taste delicious. It's only half a stick, guys. See, only half a stick, I swear. These guys can go in with it. This is gonna be the foil wrapped fish of dreams, people. Might be too thick. We're gonna definitely give this another wrap. One of the best coals, but it's gonna work out. It always works out. Get in there. All right, I just smashed butter everywhere. Now we're gonna cheese them up. Bet you guys can't see any of this. Smooth, Frey. Well, there's the rest of the cheese. All 
All right, guys, so while that's cooking, I just want to address a couple of things real quick. First thing, I haven't really had a chance to say this, but just a big fat thank you to every single person who's been supporting my channel. It's just totally unreal to me that now I have this audience. Every single video gets thousands of views. It's just, it's really unreal to me. It's amazing. I can't believe it. The support has just been great, especially the people who have been here since day one, the people who always leave comments, people who follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. I've met a lot of awesome people off the channel, and it's just great getting to know you guys. I'm so glad you're enjoying the videos. It really encourages me. It keeps me going. It helps inspire me to make better and better content. That being said, unfortunately, one of the last times I was out, I did kind of crash my drone. I wish I could say it's my fault, but really the thing just fell from the sky. I'll show you guys the picture that I took with it. I was trying to get this shot, and basically it was hovering at about 20 feet, and my back was to the drone. I wasn't even on the controller. The thing just dropped right after I got the shot. I'm glad I got the shot, but big bummer to me. I worked really hard to save up the money to buy that thing, and I really enjoyed using it. And I know you guys really like the videos that came from it. So somebody actually made a GoFundMe, a crowdfunding thing, to try and earn the money to help me get this drone back, which I think is unreal. I would never guess that anybody would give money to me to buy a drone, just strangers. It just doesn't make any sense to help me buy a drone. Like, what kind of cause is that? But actually, it has a lot of money in it already, which is totally shocking. Super thankful for everyone who donated that, and I'll put the link down below in the description for that if you guys are interested. Not expecting much, but I figured I'd give you guys a chance just in case you're interested. Another thing I wanna talk about is the comments. The comments are a little bit out of control sometimes. I get tons of comments on all my videos, but I do like the conversations. Some people I think just a little bit too negative, but I really appreciate the constructive criticism. Like one comment I've been getting a lot is that I talk way too fast. People can't understand what I'm saying. And I take that to heart because I really want you guys to enjoy the videos through and through. I don't want to, I don't want you to struggle to hear what I'm saying, but I'm just trying to get as much information in as fast as possible because I know you guys don't want to see talking, you want to see fishing. But since I've got this comment so much, I'm definitely trying to slow it down, trying to make sure you guys can understand what I'm saying. I just want to make these videos as entertaining as possible for you guys. That's the only reason I do it. So appreciate comments like that. Keep it coming. Any tips, ideas, suggestions. I love that stuff. One last thing I want to talk about before I go ahead and turn that fish is something I'm really excited to show you guys. It's something I'm going to show you guys later this winter. It's a lot of footage I have from a really awesome trip that I did this summer. I'm going to be releasing a teaser clip for it on my Instagram. So if you don't follow my Instagram, definitely follow that at fish.fray. You get a lot of updates on the channel up there, lots of fish pictures, stuff like that. The support has been so unbelievable. I'm thank you for all you guys, the old guys, the new guys. I love everyone who's out here supporting my videos. It keeps me going. I'm going to keep doing it. I hope you guys enjoy the catch and cooks too. I know sometimes they get kind of sketchy. I kind of just throw stuff together, but I'm excited to get this thing out. These tongs are clutch. About to make this a heck of a lot easier for me. Are we leaking? Sounds like we're really leaking. All right, let's see how this Parmesan fish turned out. Smells delicious. Looks about right. Now I didn't really expect the cheese to stick, but it didn't burn, so that I'm super excited about. On a side note, the toast was kind of a fail, but looks pretty decent. It tastes good. It's like surprisingly good. Oh, against all odds, I don't have any silverware out here. Don't know where it's at, but I guess we're gonna use this. Look at that flaky fish. I don't know how well you guys can see. I don't know if that helps. Some cheesy, buttery fish. It's good, guys. This is one of the better ones I've made for sure. Wow. It's perfectly cooked, first of all. It's like right where it needs to be. I can't taste the garlic at all though. I don't know, I probably had to chop it up or something. I'm sure you guys will be all over it in the comments. And this, super surprising, but this is just like delicious. I should have fish. All right guys, I gotta wrap this video up real quick before it gets dark. Feeling super thankful right now. Thankful for all of you guys. Thankful for that amazing meal. That was just straight up delicious. Like I'm. I'm starting to learn a little more about cooking and you guys are really helping me all the tips that you guys throw at me every time I cook something Even when I do something wrong you guys always call me out for it, especially the rice You guys really came at me for the rice, but I appreciate it because now I know Anyways, just feeling super blessed. This setting has just been awesome Caught tons of trout super easily today. It's been a long time since I've actually got out and caught some fish So hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video the catch and cook and all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you